Before I begin, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Bungie for providing me with a key to the final shape. I was able to give that to someone on my day one raid team to help get them in the fight with the witness as early as possible. It's a huge honor to even be considered for a key like this. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Today, Bungie released a twid that had some very cool information about the exotic class items that are coming with Prismatic and the final shape. And I wanted to give you guys one roll for each class to get those gears turning for build crafting in the near future. To be clear, these won't be available for the day one raid, understandably, but it's never too early to start thinking about what you might want to do when it comes to Prismatic, as there are a lot of possibilities for how you might play your guardians. First, let's go over the different perks that can roll on these items. These first three in each column are shared between all classes, followed by five class exclusive perks. The shared perks in the first column are as follows. Spirit of the Assassin. Finishers and powered melee final blows grant invisibility. Spirit of Inmost Light. Using an ability empowers the other two abilities, granting them improved energy regeneration. And Spirit of the Ophidian. Weapons ready very quickly. The shared perks in the second column are Spirit of the Star Eater. While your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, granting it bonus damage. Spirit of Syntheseps. Improved melee damage when you're surrounded. And Spirit of Verity. Weapon final blows with a damage type matching your grenade grant a stacking grenade damage bonus. I think all of these have a place either in PvE or PvP, and I think the selection is good. A quick reminder that even though these look good on paper, there is a major possibility that it's just not worth it to run any of these perks based on bonus value and impact of their effects. For Hunters, your exclusive perks for the first column are Spirit of the Dragon. Using your class ability reloads all weapons and increases weapon handling speeds for a brief time. Spirit of Galanor. Hits and final blows with your super will return super energy after it ends. Spirit of the Foe Tracer. Damaging a powerful combatant or guardian with an ability grants you a temporary damage bonus for weapons matching that ability's element. Spirit of Caliban. Powered melee final blows trigger an ignition. And Spirit of Renewal. Allies inside the dust field take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. Your second column exclusive perks are Spirit of the Cerdarachne. Gain woven mail when you use your grenade. Spirit of the Gear Falcon. Your void weapons gain volatile rounds after you emerge from being invisible. Spirit of the Liar. Dealing damage with a powered melee or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counterpunch. Spirit of the Worm Husk. Dodging gives a small health and shield bump. And Spirit of the Coyote. Gain an additional class ability charge. For Titans, your exclusive perks are Spirit of Severance. Powered melee or finisher final blows. Unleash a damaging explosion. Spirit of Horfrost. Your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created. Spirit of the Eternal Warrior. Gain a damage bonus for weapons matching your super's element when your super ends. Spirit of the Abeyant. Improves Drangir's Lash. Drangir's Lash projectiles track targets more aggressively and travel further. Spirit of the Bear. Move faster while guarding with the Unbreakable Shield. Damage blocked with Unbreakable is converted to super energy. That's your first column. Here's the second column. Spirit of Contact. Damaging a target with a powered melee causes all nearby enemies to suffer lightning strikes and become jolted. Spirit of Scars. Final blows with weapons that have a damage type matching your super's element create a burst of healing around you that grants allies restoration. Spirit of the Horn. Your barricade unleashes a blast of solar energy that scorches enemies. Spirit of Alpha Lupi. Generates a healing pulse when barricade is activated. And Spirit of the Armamentarium. Gain an additional grenade charge. And for Warlocks, your exclusive perks are in the first column, Spirit of the Stag. Your rift provides damage reduction to ally guardians standing in it. Spirit of the Filaments. Casting an empowered rift will grant you devour. Spirit of the Necrotic. Damaging combatants with your melee poisons them. Defeating a poisoned enemy spreads the corruption. Spirit of Osmiomancy. Your grenades recharge quicker on hits. The seeker spawn from cold snap grenades travels further. Spirit of Apotheosis. Temporarily gain greatly increased melee and grenade regen after your super ends. And for the second column, Spirit of Vesper, Rifts periodically release arc shockwaves, Spirit of Harmony, Final blows with weapons that have a damage type matching your super's element grant you super energy. Spirit of Starfire. Grenades recharge from empowered weapon damage with empowered weapon final blows granting more energy. Spirit of the Swarm. Destroying a tangle spawns threadlings. And last but not least, Spirit of the Claw. You gain an additional melee charge. Okay, now that we've gone over the perks... I'll give you one PvE roll on each class that I will personally be pursuing. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion, and I don't know if these will even be good. I think they sound good on paper, but without having a damage bonus number or regen bonus number in front of me, I don't actually know if any of these will be viable at all. And uh, with that disclaimer out of the way, 
For hunters, I'm thinking of Spirit of Inmost Light and Spirit of the Coyote, specifically the bonus energy regen for the other two abilities. Being able to stack that with the second dodge charge sounds like a good way to keep the buff rolling and your grenade and melee charged. Having a good neutral game loop is essential for me to like the feeling of a subclass, and I think this will help me enjoy Hunter just that much more than I have been recently. For Titan, I'm eyeing something like Spirit of Eternal Warrior and Spirit of the Star Eater. Reason being Twilight Arsenal. Getting introduced gives Titans a potentially good one-off super option that allows Titans to finally do super damage from range. And if we combine this with the exotic, the axes might be doing a lot more damage Plus, once you've thrown the last axe, you should be able to proc bait and switch and mag dump edge transit or another void weapon for the damage bonus and profit? Question mark? I mean, of course, this is all highly theoretical and could come crashing down if either Twilight Arsenal doesn't perform or the damage bonuses are shit. You know, it may just not be worth it compared to other exotic or super options. So take it with a grain of salt. This is very early on before we have anything. Just keep that in mind. For Warlocks, I'm thinking of farming Spirit of Ozymomancy and Spirit of Verity. Do you like grenades? Well, from the looks of things, you're going to be generating a lot of them with this combo. By just using grenades and getting weapon final blows with the same energy type as your grenade, you'll be recharging your grenade energy very quickly, letting you pepper the battlefield with your grenade of choice. But that also begs the question, uh, do you just want to use Sunbracers? Like, that's, that's a very good question. Like, if you want to use Prismatic and throw out, like, Vortex grenades or whatever, like, that works too. Like, I just, with all three of these, I just don't know if the potency in the neutral game is going to be as effective or the potency in the super is going to be as effective. I think from the gameplay previews that we saw earlier today, I think Transcendence is going to be the major selling factor for Prismatic, given like the crazy ability regen you get from that. But even at that point, I don't know if, you know, your neutral game exotics really matter at that point if you're just going to get crazy regen anyway from Transcendence. Of course, this is all just me speaking into the wind at this point because we really don't know anything about uh, the actual effect effectiveness of prismatic at this point we don't have it in our hands so overall i'm excited you know i'm sure there have been some combos that i've overlooked or missed just because you know it's very fresh i'm not an expert at all classes as another disclaimer i'm a titan main so you know if you have a combo that you're interested in that i haven't you know mentioned just let me know let me know in the comments below and i'd love to hear what you're excited to get into in the final shape here uh i know there's a lot of good combos here a lot of the perks sound really cool and i personally am very excited if you like the video please do leave a like and consider subscribing as it shows me you do want to see more content like this in the future and uh with that being said my name is kaylee the lazy and i'll see you guys next time peace